So I had an I've had an eventful week thus far, uh, guys. I don't know if you've seen the rest of my videos, which if you haven't seen the past two videos, you and you don't know what the hell's going on. I I'm sorry. I feel sorry for you. But no. So the thing is that. Um, I've had a very eventful week. So on Sunday, a couple of things happened. Firstly, uh, Amanda Palmer responded to a tweet that I made towards her, which was really cool. Um, and, and that was just a little thing that was really nice and awesome to happen. And then later on on Sunday, I made a couple of tweets from my music account uh, talking about how frustrated I was that I couldn't get my lyrics to do what I wanted them to, especially you know when I'm listening to the, the women that really inspire me. Um, Amanda Palmer and S.J. Tucker and Shauna McGuire, these, these women who have amazing abilities to, to make words just dance for them. And how frustrating it was for me that I couldn't even get, you know, a little hop, skip, and a jump from mine. And Suge actually, S.J. Tucker actually responded to me. And we spent about half an hour intermittently going back and forth over Twitter. Um, talking about how, I, how you know, it's frustrating when you can't get words out or when you have too many words or when the words just won't line up in a way that makes sense. And she gave me a few tips for, you know, what she, how she manages to jumpstart things sometimes, a couple of pieces of advice that she was given when she was just starting out. And that was really cool and amazing. And then Monday, I get a comment on a two-year-old video uh, a video that I made two years ago on my old account uh, where I was doing a one-person cover of a Sean and McGuire song and it's an acapella song for three voices and um, it's really pretty and I got a comment from a YouTube user called Sean and M and I was like no there's no way it's actually Sean and so yeah but then I went there and then Alice and Lily there was a video of Alice and Lily her her old cats and her, her cats and, and then I was like well that's that's kind of weird and then all of a sudden I go on Twitter and Shonda McGuire has just retweeted this video saying it was amazing and I flailed at her a bit and she was like oh my god that was you it was amazing you should feel proud and that was like oh wow I'm glad you liked it like because I'm watching it two years later and I can see like at least 10 things that I would have done differently either as far as the singing goes or like I would have pitched it down a little bit because it's just on the high edge of my of my register and it doesn't sound as great as it could have and it was like I'm just like but you liked it so that's cool I'm glad you liked it uh, I don't know how you found it but I'm glad you liked it okay and so and then Tuesday Tuesday was a very very big day I don't know if you noticed little thing happened um, you know, you, you, you might have missed it. I got married. Yeah, that, that happened. I did get married with a hickey, if you were wondering. Uh, she purposefully gave me that on Monday night so that when we got married, I would have a hickey because she likes marking me. I love my wife. Oh, uh, I cried a little bit. Um, Birdie cried. She will say that she did not, but she totally did. Just teared up a little. Our friend Caroline did not cry. She was our witness. But the, the, the dear friend, Islet, who we were Skyping in through my phone, did sob throughout the entire ceremony. It was only like five minutes long, but she did. The, the, they did. They did. Note to the wise, even transgendered people sometimes misgender each other. And I, I, make, I make an effort to not do that, but it, it's a problem sometimes. But they, they cried and it was adorable and I felt so bad <laughs> but then okay so that all happened and that was great but then today what's, what's what great thing has happened today I mean Matt you're you're back in normal clothes you're wearing your goddamn hat again that I never seem to not wear these days you're on your way to work I mean the day after your wedding what the hell is that up with what good could have possibly happened today? Well, other than figuring out that Hank Green is definitely the Space Corps from Portal 2. Um, the other two singers from the Shauna McGuire song that I covered found the video and commented. And one of them was a lovely woman named Merov, who I met once in New York at a, a house filk uh, gathering where we all got together and just kind of sang. And I was invited by a friend of the woman who was hosting it, Batya, who was the other singer. Batya and I are actually friends. We don't talk very often, but you know, we, we know each other and we're friends and I've been to her house and we used to role play together and I talked to her on AIM sometimes and she commented and was just like, oh, this is great, you know? And I was like, Batya! 
Katya! Oh my god, it's me! And I'm so glad you liked it, and, and you haven't been on AIM in forever, and I missed you, and hi! And th and she was just like, oh my god, this is you? I can't believe it! So that was, that was nice, but she and Mayrov both also really liked it, and I just, I'm feeling really, really happy today. Um, I'm running a little late for work, admittedly, but it's still a good day, and this video has probably gone on too long and I don't even care because I've had that good of a week. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got right now. So I hope you guys are all doing even half as wonderfully as I am because my life is awesome right now, even if I desperately need gas money. <laughs> um, and so yeah, you guys don't forget to be awesome. I will see you when I see you. Peace out.